objection is ordered. At this point, I'd like to yield one minute to the gentlewoman from California, the vice chair of the Democratic Caucus, Ms. Sanchez. Gentlelady is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I can't believe we're here again to vote or not on the Republican so care bill. Let me remind my colleagues that we are finally here only after Republicans failed to even hold a vote on March 24th and then offered extreme multiple amendments to, to appease the furthest right of their party. But I have to give it to them. It takes real cojones to stand here and vote on a bill that they know provides nearly zero health care benefits for the American people. It takes real fortitude and conviction to stand up for a bill that cuts coverage for 24 million Americans, guts Medicaid, reduces the solvency of Medicare, and segregates the sickest. Truth is, Republicans lack the bravery to call this bill what it really is, a massive tax for the rich on the backs of working mom and dads and the sick. They lack the integrity to do the hard work that it takes to craft an actual health care bill that would build upon current law and improve the health of Americans. I implore my colleagues to come to their senses, vote against this terrible bill, and work with us to continue to improve health care in this country for all Americans. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields back.